Hey guys, Bryce here. So how to build a coaching business. Now I have probably about 30 minutes before my, I have like a consultation call with someone who's looking into uh, my program. So I'm going to try and shoot this video very effectively and very quickly for you to make sure you understand exactly how to start your uh, coaching business. So for me, um, my business currently is anywhere between like 30 to about $60,000 per month, depending give or take on like how many pay in fulls we get for our coaching program every single month. Now, in order for me to do that, the biggest thing for me was content. Okay. So I'm going to really cover two aspects you need in order to be successful and how to like really speed up success. If you have these two things, it makes it a lot easier for you to make money. So content is one of the most versatile pieces of marketing for your business. Now, <clears throat> when I do content, I have two or three different types of content I like to do. Now, actually four. So number one is short form. I like short form for brand awareness, but it's not really the thing that's going to get you the client. So I want to kind of get that one out of the way just because it's like, it's something I use and you might see a lot if you ever go to like my Instagram account, but it's, it doesn't do the thing that most people think that it does. So long form is the content that generally is going to work the best for you. I generally like having three types of long form content. Number one is very searchable topics that I know people are going to be searching based on different keyword research I'm doing across the platforms. And I have other videos that kind of break down how I do keyword research, how I actually like choose content, how I film content. So you can get an understanding of that as well. The second type of content I like to use is I love doing testimonials slash behind the scenes coaching calls where I basically display my power. Right. So there was a, there's a person named Dan Kennedy. He's one of the, was one of the biggest online marketers, um, right in the late nineties, early two thousands. He was kind of transitioning towards the internet because he was doing a lot of direct mail. Now, the reason why it's so important was because he said you have to be able to demonstrate your power in order for people to know that you actually work, right? Think about a magician. The reason why we respect magicians is because we've just seen them make the rabbit come out of the hat. They have something that, some kind of skill set or, or magic that we don't necessarily have and it intrigues us about them. Right? So what I do is I demonstrate my power by showing that I actually help people. And I put out a lot of videos on this channel specifically. Um, I'm going to probably release about nine testimonials, um, from some of the coaches we've helped. I'm probably going to put out about another nine, 10 videos, like some behind the scenes coaching calls in like the pat in the next, like probably like 14 days, right? Just so I can get some more stuff on this channel, right? Also, if you're a coach or consultant and you've been trying to grow your business and you're looking for a personalized mentorship to help you go and reach your goal, go ahead and click the link inside the description other above or below this video. Book a call with myself to see if we can help you in our program for coaches and consultants, okay? Now, going back to what we we're talking about, another thing that I like doing is I like doing deep content, whether that's written video or audio, that actually helps people go and reach a particular goal. So I generally do these via Google documents. So I'll make a long Google document anywhere between like five to six pages, just helping people on a very specific topic. The one thing that I had to learn when it comes to these kind of um, Google documents is that you need to make sure it's on something that you actually help people with in your program. So my main coaching program is for accountants and bookkeepers to grow their business. And I made a, I made a post that basically talks about like content, like the purpose of content. And then I had a person that saw that post, liked it, booked a call with me, then wanted to work with me. As soon as she got inside of the program, she said, okay, so how do I make content? And at the time I was not teaching accountants and bookkeepers how to make content in my program. So it was kind of a, a mismatch. I actually had to go and create like videos for her specifically on how to make content. The point of that was to say is whatever content you're making generally needs to be about something that you're actually teaching inside of your program. So, because the people that see your content, read your content, watch your content are going to want to learn that when they come and work with you. I know that probably sounds obvious when I say it, but when it actually happened and the person paid in full and then the first thing she says, okay, how do we make content? It's like, well, I mean, we don't really teach content in this program. That's just something that I was just sharing because that's what I do for my business. Right. And they're just like, oh, okay. And then she ended up not really needing the content, but it's just, it was just kind of an interesting kind of like thing. It's like cause and effect, man. You put out a post about content, people want to read it. Of course, they're going to want to buy it to learn how to make content. It just makes total sense, right? And again, so that, that's how you start like growing. So it's like, yeah, I got the client. Yeah, but I had to customize my course a little bit, right? W one part about building a coaching program is that you want to,
Sorry guys, camera just died, but I have a remedy for that I'll talk about in a minute. Yeah, so you wanna productize your knowledge and information as much as possible so that when new students come into the program, you don't have to keep adjusting or keep switching. The customization is actually done inside the coaching, but the content that you actually make inside the program itself should be very, very, very systemized. So for example, I have a playbook where as soon as, excuse me, as soon as an accountant or a bookkeeper goes through that, their business is generally able to grow by a per certain percentage, right? And it's very, very like systemized. I know exactly how many like, how many things on LinkedIn that to send. I know what they have to send. I just know how they have to send. I know who they have to send it to. I just tell them, okay, you do this, 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 and this. And they automatically get a very consistent result, right? We have the same thing with like our coaching consulting program. But the point of that is to say that you need to learn how to do that. And then once you've been able to do that, now your content just speaks to stuff that's already in existence. And you don't have to customize it. It's how you really condense a lot of time, right? Because like for me, I'm able to have, you know, an accounting business, coaching business for accountants and bookkeepers, as well as a second program for coaches and consultants. The way I'm able to do that is because I'm very good at structuring my time in a way where every single activity I do generally is going to lead to more clients. So let's, let, me, let me show you an example of this. So number one, I make a piece of content, right? But I have an outline of my program. So let's say I was just starting from scratch. I'm gonna make an outline of my program and I'm gonna have like, what are the three to five different pillars someone needs to go through in order to go and get a certain result. I'm then going to then make like subtopics I can talk about within those pieces of content. And those can be like the modules I need to have in order for someone to be able to step by step go and like grow their business to whatever. If you're doing relationships, like what are the steps they have to do to go and improve the relationships? If you're doing life coaching, what are the steps they have to go do to go and like improve their life? Whatever, right? Now, from there, I go and use a research tool called TubeBuddy. Another one is vidIQ. And I see, okay, so which ones do people actually want to learn about the most? And then I start making videos one by one by one by one by one using those Google documents to be able to like outline. So I'm building my course and I'm getting paid for it. And I know that people actually want to do that because as they, as they work with you, they're telling you what they want and you're just adding to that little like basically like outline and you're building more and more things that people who actually pay you money for will actually want to watch. And it's just this like just positive flywheel, right? So it, it just works so well. And the more of these little systems you have in your business, so your consultation script, that's a flywheel because you can have multiple people go through and every single time you get a new person that comes and either gives you a yes or gives you a no, you can add a new line inside of your script to handle a certain objection before it gets there. And pretty soon you have a very, very, very consistent, excellent script that closes between like 30 to like 50% of your calls. Okay, so that's cool too. And then another one is your cons, another one is your course. Okay, then another one is gonna be like your different social media profiles. So every single time that you get a new person and you have a conversation, your conversation script gets tighter. Or if you have a YouTube channel, every single video makes it easier for people to go and watch more of your videos. So it gets easier and easier and easier and easier. And then over time, you pretty much just baseline at a particular income amount, right? So like for me, for example, for our coaching business, right? Literally, just sitting at this exact same point, there's not that much stuff I have to do to maintain the business, right? So in, like last year, I focused a lot on having fun. Like it was, it was a pretty great year. I got to get, I got two massages a week. I, um, Went on a number of vacations. Um, I got to dance multiple times in the night. I got to go and hang out. Um, really spent a lot of time with, with my uh, with my girlfriend. Um, went to church. Did a lot of cool stuff. I even started picking up like bow and arrow as like, a cool hobby now, right? And it's just like, but it's because my business was so structured. It was just foundationally structured correctly, right? So that's number one. Next thing is you need to be able to have either a track record for of yourself doing something or that you help someone else doing something. This drastically speeds up the process, okay? Remember how I said one of my content pieces, number two, is demonstrations of power. So I talk about how, so all of my videos basically show that I know what I'm talking about because I've done the thing I'm talking about. So that's, I check off that box. But then I have a lot of different like testimonials from other people that um, have worked with me in the past or I show like coaching calls of me doing with people. The reason why I do this is because it's like, people need to see that you either have the thing that you're helping people with and slash or that you know how to help other people, right? If you don't have that, it's just kind of someone taking your word, or, you know what I mean? It's just like they have to just take your word for it, which, you know, maybe this was like 2015 and there weren't a lot of like coaches and stuff who were online, like, yeah, that can kind of work, but 
nowadays maybe people have have tried a program and like maybe they they've tried they bought something similar like they probably bought a fitness program and it didn't work out for them so now there's a lot of skeptical people right so you get skeptical clients to kind of overcome their skeptic their skepticism by educating them on how you help right your job as a coach is just to make it just abundantly clear that investing with you in whatever program you offer is safer than it being in the money being inside of their bank or staying exactly the same right because like a long time ago, it was like, you know, people would basically say, like, um, you have to basically sell the transformation. And that is totally true. But the more times that people have been sold the same transformation or purchased courses, the more they stop believing people who, who say the transformation. So the larger the transformation you say, the less they actually believe you. So what I've actually learned how to do is make smaller claims, right? So I don't promise people a million dollars a year. I don't promise people like 200, 300, 400 thousand dollars a year. So my goal is really just to get someone to the six figure level, right? But in order to do so, I give them a lot of little promises like how to go and get your first partnership how to do marketing, how to do sales, how to tweak your sales script, what you do for pricing. And then they trust me on this, 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 they trust me on this. And now they believe the larger claim, which is generally that we help you get to six figures. But it starts with smaller promises that you know without a shadow of a doubt that you can keep, right? So like, for example, for this channel, I teach you guys how to go and like build, build YouTube videos. I teach you guys how to think about like the ABC principle of marketing, right? ABC is audience, branding, and then conversion, right? And I'm teaching you little things over time so that you trust me, right? And the reason why is because I know maybe you watch this video and like maybe you purchased a course. I know I purchased a lot of courses that didn't work for me, right? So it's like every single time you purchase a course, you get smart about like what you should be looking out for and what you should be doing. But in some cases for certain people, it gets hard and harder to trust people, especially like when your money's a little bit tighter, right? Then it's like you don't just want to blindly spend the money because maybe you don't have a lot of money, right? So what I do is I give you a lot of free value. I help you guys get a little bit further in your business. I teach you how to think. And then like, you know, there's a certain percentage of people that, you know, they've saved up money and they want to go and invest in, in our coaching in our coaching program for coaches and consultants. And, you know, if you don't buy from me, that's okay. You know, I feel bad for you, but you know, it's it's okay We're making a lot of videos we have a good amount of money right so i'm really focused on the people who want customized support that's who we actually invite to have our, our coaching program if you just want information that's cool and like we give a lot of information another reason why, why i build these youtube channels is so that people who are looking for free advice don't get on a call from me like i never have like calls anymore where it's like the person's like well tell me your secrets tell me your strategy what's your strategy well, how would i do this if i want to do this it's like bro there's 300, like on my, my main channel, I have 819 videos for accountants and bookkeepers to grow their business. On this channel, I have uh, probably for, for coaches and consultants, I probably have like 100 videos at this point, right? I'm probably going to be putting out probably about two to three videos a day because I want to kind of get to that 300 uh, video kind of like mark because um, that's when a YouTube channel really starts taking off if you have like the right SEO kind of value, just kind of what I found. Um, because re really what I want is over the course of a year to get about, um, to get about 50,000 views a year. Um, it's generally kind of my goal per YouTube channel, right? I make about $2.34 per view. So just, you know, just, you can do the math in your head, but that's kind of the number and like the, the amount I really like when I'm shooting like for YouTube content and stuff like that. So yeah, so those are the two things you need to do. Number one, you need to be able to make content that aligns with what you're selling. Number two, you need to be able to show that either you have the result that people are looking for and slash or that you've helped people to do it. And we have a, I have a video on this channel that talks about if you don't have testimonials, we talk about how to get testimonials. What type of testimonials are actually going to be the ones that actually like help your business grow the most. So again, we have a lot of videos like that. You can go search up on the channel. I think it's called Testimonials 101. Okay, so also, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something new. I do have to get going for my um, next consultation call. Um, so yeah. But if you want some help growing your business, like maybe you're a coach or consultant and you've either, maybe you've been trying it for a while, but just not quite working the way that you envisioned, the way that you'd hoped. If you want very step-by-step -step guidance. So again, this is not a massive program. There's not thousands of people that have paid me to teach them how to be a coach or consultant, right? This is a small mentorship program. I only accept between five to seven people per month to coach them, right? Because I want to keep it small. I want to make it very intimate. And I want to be able to impart as much information to you as possible so you have the highest percentage chance of success. 
And also, since it is a smaller mentorship program, it's kind of like I'm looking for a very specific situation, very specific person, and a very specific type of um, situation that you're in, right? So it's like, if you come on the call and it's just not the right fit, I'm going to tell you that, right? Because I don't want to ruin my reputation by selling you into a program that can't help you. Okay, so if I can't help you, I'm at least going to give you some really good like value points in the right direction. But if I can help, I'll say, hey, this is exactly how we're going to work together. I'm going to make you an offer. You can then choose if you want to get started with it right then and there or if you need to kind of like take some steps to save for it. Either way is good. We'll all be friends. Okay, so if you want to go see if this could be a good fit for you, click the link inside the description above or below the video. Book that call. Um, if you're not quite ready, that's okay too. I'll see you inside of the next video. Have a good rest of your day. Take it easy.